how to do potatoes. Well, first off, you got to have potatoes. This potato field is ready to go. As you can see, it's telling you to remove the foliage. You can get you one of these machines right here, depending on your budget. Uh, I guess you could lease it if you don't have much money. But if you're solely going to do potatoes, I would get one of these rather than the little pull behind for a tractor. It's a lot easier to deal with, but this is what you need. You got to have a potato harvester of some sort. And then you got to have a super cool tractor like this pulling this. You don't have to have this. You can dump potatoes in, in wagons, but this is actually the potato auger wagon, which will allow you to dump it wherever you want or fill other trailers or your animals. Like, I don't know if you can do anything with potatoes with animals, but this, I don't know. I, I think you should just get it. Lease it if you don't have the money. But whenever your machine is full, you just come right on over here like this. And dump it straight in. And then I highly recommend it, like I said, depending on if, if it's something that you're really going to do, you're going to spend a lot of time doing potatoes. I would invest in this right here. This is a mod that you can get in the mod hub, and it's for storing your beet crops, so sugar beets, and I believe potatoes will both fit in this but this will make your job so much easier I'll just dump it right in I think it holds a hundred hundred thousand no five hundred thousand something like that it holds five hundred thousand or six hundred thousand something like that so it holds quite a bit which is if you're going to do very much of it, you're going to need it. You might need to put more than one up. And that's that. Pull that back in. And we're going to go back and we'll get the rest of it out. Now, you can do the potatoes yourself, but it's kind of a slow process. I've got a mod that actually allows mine to harvest much faster. I don't remember the name of it. It's in the mod hub. You can get it for anything. doesn't matter if it's on console or PC. I'm currently on PC, but it, it doesn't matter. It's in there. You can get it for both. So that helps out a lot. So I, I usually just hire it out. And then like the end rows where it's all messed up, I'll finish it myself. But for the most part, I'll hire out the potatoes because it's just, it's kind of a slow process. It doesn't have a very big, as you can see, the head's pretty small, but it's got a lot of stuff it's got to do Get the rest of that. We'll get this emptied out. I'll hop in and then we'll just show you how it, how it goes. It's not really that complicated. I mean, you gotta unfold it. And that's pretty much it. Then you're ready to go. And see, so you can just hire your worker and just let it go. But I've already unfolded it because it's already it was full. So on PC it's X, folds and unfolds it, and then the actual uh, the auger or, whatever, or the unload auger it just it goes out. I don't know if you can move that or not. You might be able to. Yeah, you can actually move that. So you'll be able to move that on console too. So depending on your trailer height, you'll be able to adjust that. But we're going to go ahead and turn on the harvester. It's B on PC. I don't remember what it is on consoles. Let's drive on. I'll go back here and get all this where they missed this little spot. This is a pretty big machine. It didn't turn very, very sharp. It's not, not well suited for that. I have crop destruction turned off. I, I don't like it when my crops get all tore up from running over them. I know it's realistic, but this is a video game and it's not realistic. So that's your choice. But yeah, you just drive along. Nothing to it. Like I said, this, this mod that I'm running makes it a little bit more 
I guess a little a little more bearable to do it yourself if you want to. Cause I think these things only harvest at like three mile an hour, four mile an hour, pretty slow. I, I normally don't like to sit there and mess with it. But just for the sake of video, I'll show you. But it's actually pretty quick, really. It's not too bad. You can see everything going. Kind of like other basic harvesters, really. It's nothing to it. Just don't hold as much. I mean, you can see that the rate that it's picking them up, it only, uh, I think this holds 20,000 or 22, so at this rate, it won't take very long. We'll be probably half full by the time we get back. We'll get down here and we'll turn around and we'll go back. For some reason, the AI doesn't want to do the in row because of the trees. The trees really mess you up. I don't, I don't really like trees on the end of my fields. But this is a brand new start, so I would normally cut all those out. On Hyatt Bay, or on, however you say that. And then we'll go down, we'll go back. Because the speed of the mod is going so fast, it takes a minute for it to catch up. I think this one's clocked at well, like 11 nines as fast as this on the harvest, which is doing pretty good. And yeah, that, and there's different harvesters too. There's a little bit cheaper one. And there's also, there's a machine that will allow you to dump them on the ground if you don't have the money for your actual, the storage silo for them. Whatever you want to call that thing. There's a, a machine that you can. This spray don't cause some trouble over here. Maybe not. Let's see. But there's a machine that you can get where you can stack it on the ground, and that machine will actually allow you to pick it up and transport it on trucks or move it. I don't currently have it, but it is. It, it's actually part of the game. It's not a mod, so it's in there. I think it's in your miscellaneous section of your equipment. So there you have it. Harvesting potatoes. Now sugar beets, I, I can make one on sugar beets too, but it's pretty much the same thing. You do basically exactly the same thing. There's a big machine like this you gotta get. And you harvest with it. There's pull, there's pull behind types, which I don't recommend. I mean, unless you just want to have a different experience but they're, they're pretty tedious and slow but hopefully this helps somebody i know it's not much to it but it's a little guide of how to get it going anyway what you need to get your potatoes harvested and stored successfully thanks for watching